Hi, my name is Andy Diedrich and I'm a curriculum coordinator with Northwest Allen County Schools. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get to Google Meet and I'm going to show you some of the features inside Google Meet so that you can be successful when your teacher has a meeting with your child. Like most teachers, Mrs. Vanderbosch, as you can see here on your screen, has put a link on her Canvas page. So in Mrs. Vanderbosch's case, you would click here on Remote Learning Link. And then on the next page, you're going to see some information. Now, one of the things that Mrs. Vanderbosch has done really well is she's put a list of appropriate behaviors for a Google meeting. Number one, you more than likely want to mute your microphone before the meeting starts because you're going to be in a meeting where the teacher is talking. And if the microphone is on and kids are making noise or they start talking, it's going to disrupt the meeting. So we would recommend that you mute your microphone. And then when you have a question, please type it into the chat. And then the teacher will get a notification and they'll, sit, they'll call on a student like, oh, hey, Tim, see so you have a question. Can you please unmute your microphone and you can ask your question. So we're going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Uh, wearing headphones is nice. It makes it a little bit easier to see. Uh, you do want to sit still and not fidget. You know, for example, like if you're moving around like this and you're looking around, that's going to be distracting to the other students when it's your turn for you to be on the screen. Also, no iPhone, iPads, or the television going in the background. You want to keep your distractions to a minimum so that you can focus on the learning. And please do not join back into the meeting after the teacher has left because we want to make sure that we are doing the right thing and we're treating people right. All right. So like most teachers, Mrs. Vanderbosch has a link down here below and we're going to click on it and we're going to watch it open up. Now, when Google Meet starts, you're going to see this screen. And as you can see on here, my webcam is turned on and my microphone is also turned on. Now, I've used Google Meet a bunch during today. So my web browser knows that I've said, go ahead and allow the use of the microphone and the camera. If you if this is your first time getting into Google Meet up in this area of the screen, you'll see a pop up that says, please allow. Go ahead and do so. All right. Next, you're going to click on join now. And then you're going to see yourself on the screen. Now, down here on this panel, you have the option of muting your microphone. So you want to click that right away and it will be muted. Uh, you can turn on or turn off your webcam. However, we recommend you keep your webcam on there because we do want to see your face. We want to talk to you. Um, if you want to turn on captions, go ahead and do so. When you turn on captions, it actually does a very good job because Google's uh, algorithms do a really good job of listening and it'll pick up the words pretty well as you can see here on your screen. So I'm gonna turn this off right now. Your teacher may ask you to present your screen. When your teacher asks you to do that, you will press this button and you'll have your choice of doing a window or an entire screen. I recommend that you do the entire screen. And when you do the entire screen, the next thing you're gonna be asked for is to decide which screen you're gonna, gonna share. So I only have the one screen because I'm here on a laptop. So you will double click here. And then I always hide this. Now, the people on the other meeting, they can see whatever is in your screen. So if you want to show them another tab or you want to go back to Canvas, everybody's going to see this stuff. Now, to stop sharing your screen, you want to go back to your Google Meet and then you can click this button that says stop presenting. Okay. Now in this Google Meet, I'm the only person in it, so it only has number one here, but if I wanted to see who else was in here, I can click on this and there would be a list of all the individuals that are here. If I wanted to ask my teacher a question, I could click the chat button if that's what your teacher recommends. And you could type down here in the bottom, you know, I have a question. And then you send it along. And then the teacher is going to get a notification that, hey, so-and-so has a question. And then your teacher will ask you, hey, turn, off your, turn on your microphone and go ahead and answer the, ask the question to me. Another thing that you can do, like you'll have all, you'll probably see like three to five of your classmates over here. You may want to just put the teacher on the screen. So you can come up here to where your teacher is. They may be on this list, but they may be up here. So you find your teacher on the list, click on it, and you see that little thumbtack? Click on the thumbtack, and that's going to pin your teacher right here to the screen. OK, now when the meeting is over, your teacher says, you know, hey, kids, go ahead and, and uh, hang up. You can do this two different ways. Number one, you can just close the browser tab. But I like to hang up the phone, which you can do right here. So that's how you do Google Meet. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact your teacher and uh, 
good luck and I think you're gonna do fine. You're gonna like this tool. So thanks for watching.